In this video, I'm going to walk through the latest feature we just announced for running serverless ARM-powered containers with AWS Fargate and Graviton2 on Amazon ECS. We have a Flask-based web application that will return the architecture of the CPU that the OS is running on top of. We also have our Docker file, which defines the instructions of how to run our Flask application. To deploy our container to AWS Fargate, we're going to use the AWS Copilot CLI, which is an opinionated CLI that will get our container up and running quickly with a guided, opinionated experience built on AWS recommended practices. We're going to start by deploying an x86-based container, and once deployed, we can navigate to the URL and find our container running, and we should see that x86-64 is returned as the architecture. We'll be back. Now we can see that we have a service running and we have a URL for us to access that service. If we take a look and we go to the, the URL, there you go. We have our application running on AWS Fargate using an x86-64 architecture. Next, let's modify the manifest file and change the platform to ARM and then we will redeploy the service via the Copilot CLI. So, when we trigger a deployment with the Copilot CLI, well, you may notice that it's building our Docker image and then pushing that image to Amazon ECR. But if you look here, you can see that in the Docker build command that Copilot's running on your behalf, it's actually passing in the platform flag to ensure that it's building an ARM-based um, Docker image. So the Copilot CLI is handling that, handling that for you. Now, during the deployment, so after our container image gets pushed, during the deployment, what we're going to see is that the service is flipping between the old task and the new task when I'm accessing it via the, the load balancer URL. That's because of the way um, the deployment configuration is set to basically double the tasks and ensure they're healthy before going to uh, killing off the old ones. But as you can see, we're flipping back and forth between the ARM based architecture and the x86. And once the deployment is complete, we're solely on the ARM based architecture. So you can see it's returning what we expect, and we have successfully deployed a Graviton 2-based Fargate task to Amazon ECS. So if you're deploying your ARM-based Fargate tasks outside of the Copilot CLI, uh, you're going to want to modify the task definition to reflect the proper CPU architecture if you want to deploy to ARM-based Fargate uh, instances. So let's take a quick look at where you would define that in the task definition. So in the console, I'm just going to go to the task definition and I'm going to actually look at the JSON um, configuration of the task definition itself. And what we want to look for is the runtime platform configuration. So you can see under the runtime platform, I have CPU architecture set to ARM64 and the operating system family is Linux. That's it. Have fun deploying your ARM-based Fargate tasks to Amazon ECS, and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.